I reject your claim based on such a simple grammatical error. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at another one of Electroboom's videos. Specifically a 7 million volt taser stun thingy. And what is this thumbnail? What's with all those zeros? <laughs> You can start nuclear reactions with 7 megavolts. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry. From engineering operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Let's check out this crazy thing. Hi, I don't know if you have seen those stun guns they sell online. I saw channels like Jerry Rig wow. Everything or Unbox Therapy reviewing this yellow jacket stun gun, which is a cell phone case that can output 7 million volts. <laughs> <laughs> the future of self-defense. We can apply this to the groin area. Very good channels, by the way, if you like reviews wow. and unboxing. It's also a power bank and it has 7 million volts of stun gun protection. I mean, the similarities between a device like this and, say, a particle accelerator, yeah, both have high voltage, both involve flow of electrons and ionizing of the surrounding medium. Usually particle accelerators are kept in a vacuum, whereas this is just going to be used in air. Both need to be well insulated to ensure safety and both involve ionization in the form of arcs. And that's about where things start to be. And that might be about it. <laughs> Let's see. Jerry. Jerry? Seven million volts, Jerry? There must be a typo somewhere, Jerry. Amazon says seven million. Maybe that's the typo. Apparently this... <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like a lot for something like that. Can put out 7 million volts. It says it right on the box. Let's download its user manual. There it is. Yellow Jacket case is a 7 million voltage stun gun. A 7 million voltage stun gun? Really? 7 million voltage? Voltage is the electromotive force or the potential energy yes. required to move the electrical charge. The unit is volt. 7 volt stun gun. I reject your claim based on such a simple grammatical error. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Like when people use Rentgen or RAD when talking about dose to a human. Uh-uh. It's you got to multiply it by a quality factor to take into account the effects on the human body, which in a lot of cases is one, but it's something that comes up a lot. But really, this phone case is not the only one claiming such a high voltage. Just look at these high voltage... No, but really, this phone case is not the only one claiming such a high voltage. Just look at these high voltage arc generators. 400,000 volts, 1 million volts, 400,000 volts, 400 kilovolts, 500 kilovolts. False claims, false claims ever. I guess people are obsessed with super high voltage for various objects. Now what's interesting is the output voltage at a nuclear power plant for the main the main generator is only 25,000 volts. It's really all you need. Now when it's stepped up to the uh, switchyard, the, the substation, before it gets sent out on transmission lines, there, depending on where the plant's located and how far you have to travel, um, then you're into the hundreds of thousands of volt range. I mean, the plant that I worked at was 345,000, so 500,000, not, not unheard of for something like that. But and at that point, it's mainly to reduce your uh, line losses for transporting the electricity hundreds of miles to civilization so you can power major cities in a nuclear power plant. For whatever reason, people don't like it when you build nuclear power plants in the middle of a major city. I'm kidding. There's a whole bunch of regulatory requirements regarding reactor site criteria. Where? Won't stop me from buying one of these babies, though. I don't really need them, though. If you remember, I made my own taser back in my old video. The arcs can jump one <laughs> You don't bring your finger close to a stun gun when it's running. Everyone can build something like this or even stronger, but it might not... Oh, he never ceases to amuse me. All everywhere. Let's check. Is it legal to marry to yourself? Marry yourself? <laughs> to grow pot in BC? To bait deer in BC? To smoke weed in BC? To marry your cousin in Canada? What kind of search history is this? No European country prohibits marriage between first cousins. It is also legal <laughs> throughout this? Canada and Mexico to marry your cousin. The US is the only Western country with cousin marriage restrictions. Fun fact, is it legal of to have what? stun gun in Canada? 
In the United States, tasers are not considered firearms. Uh, nobody cares, they can buy shotguns. <laughs> In Canada, however, tasers are a prohibited weapon. Isn't there a difference between a taser and a stun gun? I'm, I'm not an expert on that. Clearly, it's not a taser. It's not even portable. Only for educational purposes. I was gonna say, clearly he's just... I mean, this one, it's a demonstrative tool used for educational purposes. It's kind of like, you can have lasers over 500 milliwatts, you just can't refer to them as a laser pointer. Because they're educational tools. Now, why do I say those voltage claims are garbage? Simple, air can break down under 15,000 to 30,000 volts across a one centimeter gap. And that depends on humidity and pressure yes. and many other factors. I've borrowed an ESD gun and I've set it to 25 kilovolts and I'll bring a ground wire close so that the arcs yep. start jumping. And then I can measure the air gap using my... <laughs> right after I... He was holding on to a metal portion... Dude. <laughs> down the gun. Okay, let's try it. Somewhere around there. And it's almost... 15 millimeters. And that's around 16 to 17 kilovolts per centimeter. So for example, for the phone case that had its prongs around one centimeter, the arcs would jump for around 16 kilovolts. And that's what the voltage would be limited to. Not so <laughs> Yeah, mainly when I think of 7 million volts, the first thing for me that comes to mind are things like linear accelerators. Accelerate charged particles, protons, electrons, could even be like deuterium nuclei. And that 7 million volts accelerates them to energies sufficient enough to cause nuclear reactions. You could even make some neutron sources or some medical radioisotopes. Though it's sustained, high voltage and high current. It's not little, it's not little individual arcs. Long term, it's, the voltage is stable. Voltage and current is stable so you can make stuff. Now these, now these operate in a vacuum though, so that whole restriction about voltage and air, you don't have to worry about that. Not to mention these, you know, take up whole rooms. You also need your support systems such as your vacuum pumps, shielding systems in for radiation, cooling systems, need to be well insulated, that sort of thing. A million volts. Why is the voltage limited, you ask? Let me show you how an arc is made. We have two points with a voltage difference, and every one of them makes the air around it ionized. As the voltage between them rises, they make more and more air ionized around them. And although yes. air is a very good non-conductive isolator, the ionized air is a very good conductor. If the voltage between them rises enough, the ionized areas around them get so big that they touch each other and short circuit Smart. the two points. And so a huge current runs through the gap. And the current looks something like this. This spike here can be tens of amps, but it happens in less than a nanosecond. Yeah. This whole event can be tens of nanoseconds. I wish I had Electra Boom as my instructor when I was taking classes. So you take a lot of electrical engineering, electronic classes when working on a degree in nuclear engineering. A lot of them are prereqs for some of the advanced nuclear classes. Um, granted, I don't have nearly as much electrical experience as he does, but he would have been great to have teach some of these things. Because to me, a lot of it started out, a lot of stuff is somewhat counterintuitive. I was a bit more mechanically inclined than electrically inclined. And Electroboom would have really helped me out. <laughs> and the voltage immediately drops to zero, and that's one pulse of electricity. So the voltage Ouch. can go only so far before the ionized like air shorts it, and that depends on the distance between the prongs. So in order to get 7 million volts, you need a distance of roughly more than 3.5 meters. <laughs> I mean, having a cell phone cover that's also a stun gun is cool and all, but are you really comfortable having a stun gun on your head while talking to somebody? Yeah, that's just something that doubles as that. It's kind of... And what sort of safety mechanisms are going to do? Is it going to be like you're going to need to arm it and then it's going to be double action in some way? And the phone's kind of an 
awkwardly shaped device for having like a double action safety switch before you turn on something like that. So I I just don't know. Um, it's going to have to be subject to a lot of rigorous safety testing and I wouldn't want to have one. <laughs> I can imagine many people fidgeting with all the buttons while they are talking to the person they have a crush on. Oh, tonight? <laughs> no, I'm completely free to... I don't know why manufacturers claim such bogus numbers. Here's a few of them. World's the smallest at 6 million volts. See, even the prongs are not that far. And here's a pink... This reminds me of all those negative ion um, scammers that have like all these wristbands and various toys that say they're going to heal you by removing your negative ion. Well, a negative ion is just something negatively charged, like an electron, and it turned out a lot of those things involved giving people radioisotopes and people were getting unmonitored and unrecorded radioactive dope, which is insane. That's the topic for a whole other video. He brought Hazer with 18 million volts. What the <laughs> f*** is this? 980 million volts? Even most Billions, lightnings don't have trillions. that much voltage. I'm starting to think there is no regulation around bullsh** out there. It's funny, long ago I thought- I'm thinking in a tank of insulating gas like sulfur hexafluoride, in a couple inches, I think you're limited to something on the order of 20 to 30 million volts. So where even are they getting these numbers? If somebody was attacked by a stun gun, they would be paralyzed after the shock for a long while, thanks to Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been the biggest fan of Adam Sandler. Oh, honey, help me up here, please. But after being zapped so many times over years, I realized that you just feel such huge pain that will paralyze you while being shocked. But as soon as the electrical shock stops, if it hasn't left a permanent damage, you will be instantly fine. It may mess with your muscle control while being shocked, but if you're mentally strong against pain, even the pain won't be able to completely paralyze strong. you. This policeman puts it very well. The concept's kind of neat, but it's pain compliance. And pain compliance, if you're motivated enough, pain compliance, you can fight through the pain. So this much interesting. Wonder how many attempts that took. Fuck you. <laughs> but Hollywood science is mostly bogus too. Yeah. Um, so I don't apply that same sort of idea to uh, radiation protection. You know, the radiation is more afraid of you than you are of it. <laughs> Nah. It's not the voltage that kills you. There's not a whole lot of amperage flowing through with those volts. Jerry? Who is this Jerry Rip guy? <laughs> what is this? Zach Nelson. Zach Nelson. I don't know. Jerry Rip everything. Oh, okay, so he has a bachelor in management. He doesn't have electronic background. <laughs> and he's like... such a nice guy, I can't stay mad at him. <laughs> but I can stay mad at this guy. It's really the current that gets you and not really the voltage. Obviously, he's a scientist talking about electronics. What? <sighs> it's a combination of things. My answer to that question is it the volt or the the volts or the amps that gets you. The answer is yes. I mean, it's everything, and I, I think I get what he's trying to say when this guy mentions current in that it's the actual flow of electric charge through the body that gets you. I mean that's usually that's what shows up on various electrical safety manuals and things like that that talks about currents of 100 milliamps can disrupt the heart signals but you need voltage to drive the current through the human body and resistance determines how much current flows through the body for a given voltage. So your resistance drops significantly when you're wet, means it's easier for voltage to go through you, which allows current to flow through you at even lower voltages. And power being the product of voltage times the current 
has a better sense of giving you the overall effect. However, even in low power systems can get you if you're going through a, uh, if it's a particularly vulnerable part of the body. And another factor is just time. How long is this sustained for, as well as the frequency? So I also have a problem with saying it's not the voltage, it's the current, because you're really just not looking at the whole picture here. It is that his Van de Graaff tower is at 200,000 volts, which is fine, and then he <laughs> isolates himself fun. on a stool and touches the tower, which is okay, and his hair sticks up. But even at that point, the tower is not at 200,000 volts anymore. I bet it is dropped to 50 kilovolts or less because his body provides a much greater surface area that electric charges run away from. And then he... Little static electric shocks can be on the order of tens of thousands of volts, but they're a very short period of time. He touches the ground as well, at which point his body shorts and dissipates the charges to ground. You can well see said. it by his hair dropping back to zero. And I'm ready his to change my name to the tower voltage. <laughs> I'm going to have to remember that one. <laughs> if I start to lose my hair, my hair is, I'm not bald, my hair is dropping to zero. Not less than 50 volts, if not zero. Nowhere does he mention of such voltage drop and leaves audience thinking he's touching across 200,000 volts. And instead he says, It's really the current that gets you and not really the voltage. Mm. He seems like a very nice guy though. I bet it was a one-time mistake, so no hard feelings. <laughs> You know, saying that it's not the voltage that hurts, but the current is like saying I'm gonna shoot you in the head with a shotgun, but as long as the bullets hit you very softly, you won't feel a thing. Wanna try? How many times do I have to say this? If there is high voltage across your body, there is no way to limit the current and you'll die. Here, let's say this 12 ohm resistor is a oh, human, he and what's I'll he put doing? 10 volt across it with no current limit. Let's see what happens. See, the human burns, but if I current limit the supply to 0.1 amps and put the same 10 volt across a fresh 12 ohm, and it doesn't burn, but is the voltage the same? No, it has dropped very low. If your supply is current limited, the voltage must drop. If the voltage doesn't drop, the current remains high. And that's- Good explanation of Ohm's law right there. You see, I would have really enjoyed having him as, a, as an electrical slash electronics instructor. Signs say danger high voltage, not high current. <laughs> Here I'm running yes. 10 amps through the wire and I'm touching it and I feel nothing because... And that's true, I mean, yeah, high, high, high voltage and... Now, the high current bit, that's usually, that's going to be in the whole arc flash label, but there you're calculating the incident energy, so it's really, it involves current and voltage. So either way, the high voltage sign is still valid. They're usually right next to each other. The voltage across my body is zero, so let's correct that sentence. It is not necessarily a supply voltage at no load, but the amount of current it can provide when touched that indicates how much hurting you shall receive. Because a touched supply what are the units of hurting? <laughs> it may drop if its current is somehow limited. Well, That's it's much why. longer than it's not the voltage, it's the current, but way more accurate. Oh, tonight? No, I'm completely free to <laughs> Well, he said he was free to, so there you go. This was hilarious. Thanks again for the recommendation, and thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.